Hello, this is Fabien Custin, and this is a new video about the Photographer add-on for Blender. I've added a couple of new features, and I thought it was a good idea to show you how it works. Uh, first, the biggest update is that the add-on is now available for Blender 2.8. So it actually has been working for 2.8 for quite some time, but since the Python API kept changing, it was breaking all the time, and it required to be updated a bit too often. Uh, but now the API has been locked, so the add-on should be more stable and you should be able to upgrade your Blender in the future without getting too many errors with Photographer. One of the best things is that Photographer works perfectly with Eevee, which is a great way to preview your renders, um, because you can just play with the, the white balance and uh, with your exposure, everything is in real time in the viewport, and it's very like representative of what you would get with Cycles, because it's using the same color management system in Blender anyway. Uh, and also EV doesn't have to be limited to previewing your renders. Uh, you can also render just with EV because it's just a, a really beautiful real-time rendering engine. Uh, I've been working in game industry for more than 10 years now and I've been spoiled with real-time rendering and I'm, I'm really happy to see that happening now in my 3D app when I can model or do my textures directly with a very nice rendering. Anyway, let's talk about Photographer. Uh, if you have a look at the camera panel, you will see that uh, some stuff has been reorganized to fit the Blender UI uh, a bit better. But otherwise, it's the same setting as before. Um, something that is new, though, it's the continuous autofocus panel that you have here. If you check it, you will see that it just uh, turns on the AFC button from the header. Oh, by the way, the header, uh, I'm still having it at the bottom because I'm kind of used to it, but normally in 2.8, it's going to be at the top now. Um, so if you turn it off, it will also turn it off here. But uh, what you will see is that you have the AFC interval. And what it is, is the time between each autofocus update. Uh, by default, it's going to be 0 0.6, um, which I think is a good thing. For instance, when you move around, you're going to see that there's a light delay, but it's still like quite snappy. Uh, the idea behind it is just to make sure that it's not too expensive and it uh, doesn't drain uh, your CPU too much by sending raycasts constantly. But it's also very good uh, if you want to animate your camera. And this is the second feature uh, from uh, this update. Uh, now you have a small key here which is uh, set animate. So if you click here um, you're gonna see that now these have little diamonds, which are like keyframes. And um, let's not start with the AFC, let's just start with AFS. Uh, so if you click, it will just set a key. And if you go a bit further, and you'll just set another key over here. And you'll see that your focus is now animated. So pretty easy to use, especially for the AF single. Um, but what you can do is you can use the AFC. So I have another camera which has uh, movement. Now let me just the active camera. So you see that this camera is moving. Um, so I will turn on the animate and then I will turn on the AFC. So now it just added a key and it actually adds a key constantly. Right now it's just putting a key every 0 0.8 seconds, but I will just put every 2.5 seconds. Uh, this is real-time seconds, by the way. It's not connected to the timeline seconds. Um, so if your frame rate is bad, um, that will put keys at like different intervals. Um, that's the way it works right now. It's using timers, and those timers are real-time. I think it's better because I, at least I'm sure that when it puts a key, it's actually when it did the focus. I'm afraid that if I just ask it to put like at proper intervals here, it might just be a mismatch with the actual autofocus um, when, when it last happened. So for now, it's the way it is. Um, let me know if you have any issues. But right now, I'm just going to press play. And you will see that it's just going to put keys every 2.5 seconds. Um, it will stop at the end of the range. And then you can just scroll back. And you will see that it has this nice animation now. What you can do is, um, like, if you want to be a bit, uh, I don't know, if you want to play around, like, maybe, let me try with this camera. 
clear that one. Um, you can actually just use the animate on the AFC and press play. Maybe you move around a bit. It can just do like some weird focus pull. And uh, if you play back, like you will see that you actually animated without your camera moving, you just animated different focus points. So that could be a way to to animate your focus point, like as if you were just like timing it as you move the camera through the scene, just like looking at what you want to focus on at different times. Another thing that you may have noticed is that now you have an AF track button here. And um, what it does is that you sec select a point in the image and it will create an empty over there and you will just name it as well and it will actually put it in the camera, uh, focus on object which means that if you move your camera then it will always keep focus on this but uh, something that is a bit special because that's a tracker then um, it's also parented to the object that you clicked on so if you move this object, then it will just keep the focus on this object. Um, the idea is that if you have your camera that is moving and you are supposed to focus on, on the moving car or someone is running or whatever, then by putting a tracker, you make sure that this object always stays in focus. Also keep in mind that this is per camera, so you can have a camera that use AF tracking and then you just go to another camera and this one you can just use normal AF single, for instance. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much how it works. If I cancel, then it will just delete the empty, and then you can just track on something else. Just make sure that everything is always in focus. Um, and that's pretty much it for the update. Uh, the next update, I think, is going to be adding support for uh, Octane, um, because they're going to release it for free for Blender, I think, so I'm assuming that a lot of people are going to start using it. And, uh, of course, bug fixes. If you find any bugs, uh, please send them my way. Uh, you can post them on the Blender Artist forum, which you can find in the link below. And now the add-on is on Gumroad. Um, the reason for that is that I think it's better for you to get notifications when there is a new update, especially when it's like bug fixing. Also, I gave the opportunity for you to donate if you think that this is a useful add-on. Um, I'm really uh, thankful for everyone who already donated, but otherwise the add-on is, uh, is for free and it's always going to be for free, so you can just enter zero in there. That's it for the video. I hope that you're going to make some awesome 3D rendering and I'll see you soon.